So after the green band, um, the trailer begins with the movie house logos from Paramount and Nickelodeon. Um, the music feels a bit Transformers slash Batman Begins. At times it's a little operatic and we get this unexpected voiceover from William Fincher's Shredder. Assuming, assumingly, sorry, um, spoiling the origin plot to Megan Fox's April O'Neil. And there's a night shot of the city and a terroristic crisis situation, you know, guns ablaze, um, with the rather tomb looking foot clan. Um, you know, there's a day scene of a chopper um, traversing just over and through the city. There's um, a crane or antenna, like satellite thing, that gets detonated and, you know, it's. Demo, um, demolitioning down to the pedestrians on the uh, street you know about a skyscraper's length below and there's a you know Michael Bay credit that sinks in and fades away from us and we're treated to this wonderful ancient looking backdrop um, very Japonais where Shredder and presuming presuming presumably sorry a um, hostage Miss O'Neill um, and they're conversating and there's a couple of snips of the foot possibly searching the sewers for the turtles um, we cut back to Megan O'Neill who looks pretty weirded out and you know the foot approach to a um, metal storage container, guns out. Um, they're tipped off by a presence, almost uh, taken out by what looks to be like a steel container door or perhaps a container itself, like a shipping container, like those big ones. Um, you know, one is tossed, one of the foot members is tossed into um, another container opposite to them. And we get another shot of April Fox, this time freaking out with um, some citizens in the subway. And one of the turtles tosses a foot soldier up into the um, neon lighting of the station. You know, it all explodes and everything is very pretty. And, you know, as, um, you know, meanwhile, April is, you know, she shoots the ordeal on cell cam. And the turtles, you know, punch and kick other soldiers. And, um, you know, there's some fluorescent bulb explosions. And everything looks, you know, sparkly and bayish. And I love that wind machine. Possibly train approaching, you know, to pass. Um, we get the This Summer banner. And we get a glimpse of a laboratory. And a day shot of police clearing the streets. And a night shot of Leonardo on top of a cylindrical like tower all glowing and 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 smoggy and foggy and beautiful and you know april looking up from below and a shot of someone making a grab for the ooze canister and then the ooze through tubes tubes in multiple you know more of april uh april and shredder talking um Foot soldiers break into some sort of building through a hole in the wall. that, And it looks like the hole was caused by some sort of explosion. Um, April and the cameraman, I can't remember his name at this moment, but um, are seemingly hiding <clears throat> out um, and found by the foot. And the turtles spring into action to protect them. And this is, you know, this is an, an there's like this awesome... Uh, shot of Donatello from behind turning in battle and we get to see some really cool gadgetry across his uh, shell and it's pretty steampunk-esque and I like that you know um, we see Shredder come face to face in private with his armor a day shot of police clearing the city streets um, the antenna or satellite 
uh, we saw in the beginning is tumbling now into the street and all this time uh, the shredders been um, telling Miss O'Neill that you know crime and violence and fear have been run running rampant and that their great cities being destroyed that the people want justice restored to this world and that people want heroes but that heroes are not born rather they're created and that that's what the shredder and april's father were trying to do in essence uh, essence um create heroes which i don't know if she should be trusting that shredder will fincher rat like awesome actor maybe he should have been um the splinter <laughs> um so you know we get continuing shot you know where leo jumps from the cylindrical um tower you know he flips around and lands on a brick wall or something like that like an adjacent building in front of april and she looks on in wonder and we get a day shot on a um snowy hill face very steep with donatello and Raphael riding down evading debris um in action on their shells and don flips raf who lands you know shell first smashing half a mini hummer in slow-mo it's pretty cool shot um it's a little too kiddish but it's pretty cool and weirdly it adds some dimension to the trailer you know makes it look a little bit more like a bigger movie like the whole movie has well not the whole i can't say the whole movie because i obviously haven't seen it but the trailer um gives off kind of like a a weird kind of uh filmation vibe and you know even though the cg looks uh, a little more tolerable i would say that you know i would prefer to see suits i would prefer to see practical uh effects here um and maybe just highlight it with CGI elements. Um, I think it would look better. Um, but it's very, you know, it's very glossy and very Michael Bay universe. Um, so I guess, you know, it's it's going to tie across probably like Transformers. Uh, more of that Transformers vibe to it. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, that's just me. I would just like to see more of a, a practical element. I think it would be uh, great. So then we get the title shot and a close up on Leo as uh, Megan backs off into Michelangelo. Um, you know, she tur turns to him rather repulsed and uh, he tells her to chill out that it's only a mask and he removes his orange bandana mask to reveal his rather Shrekish face. Uh, saying see you know like don't freak out right and she faints and we get the uh, coming soon digital 2d 3d info banners so that's the 90 second recap of the uh, trailer or the 90 second trailer I should say the premiere trailer for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2014 and um what can I add here but uh the turtles are only in there for like maybe 45 seconds um actually maybe half of 45 seconds because um it's cut with other shots um but you know it looks okay you know and i was originally gonna do this on april 1st but we got the trailer early uh i would have done it yesterday but i was really unable to do so um you know i really thought this was coming out on april fool's day so I, I guess I'll have to find another joke to uh, play on you all. But um, anyhow, I'm going to give this a fair shot. I'm going to go see it anyway. I know it's going to be different, a bit different or a lot different. You know, most Bay Project takeovers um, usually are different. So, um, you know, it's tough love. Can't do anything about it now. Uh, we're going to get what we end up getting. Um, and regarding reboots that Bay has kind of done, I didn't agree with many of them, um, you know, but I saw them anyway. You know, like the Transformers trilogy wasn't 
what I was hoping for, but it was kind of entertaining. And I didn't really care for the Friday the 13th reboot. Um, and I really hated the Elm Street reboot. Um, but, you know, I'll give this one a go. Um, Age of Extinction as well, I kind of want to see um, as well. You know, like Grimlock looks fucking king. So maybe I'll do a review or reaction to the next Transformers trailer. Um, and maybe we'll cover all the trailers when that next trailer drops, whenever it does. Um, till then, though, you know, thanks for watching. Um, and we got Wild Man Beyond, the follow-up interview, uh, coming up in just a bit. So stick around, and I just want to say again that Rambo Mania would just not be the same without you. Thank you, everyone, for the love and support. And, um, you know, cheers, and... You know, we're going to get right back into prequel month part two. So I guess this is the unofficial prequel month two debut, even though the next episode is the debut. But, you know, I was expecting to do this uh, reaction video and review for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2014 um, on the first or second. So preferably it would have been on the first. But anyway, um you know, much ado about nothing. So, you know, we're, we've done it now. So thank you for taking the time to uh, go over that with me, um, you know, rather early. So I guess it was a nice little surprise. You know, this trailer uh, reaction video for Ninja Turtles was supposed to be one of three Easter egg surprises for prequel month two. So I guess you're getting this one early and in one or two episodes um, while we're getting into the Wild Man Beyond debut I'm going to drop a brief brief hint at what um, the last of the three surprises will be um, and it definitely does tie into prequel month and uh, prequel month part two so please stand by for that um, you know like three little surprise Easter egg uh, topics that I didn't include in the trailer for prequel month two. And um, much like some of the stuff that was added for prequel month one. Actually, I don't think I put any of the, I think I put it all the um, add-ins for prequel month one in the prequel month one trailer. But as far as the prequel month two trailer, there's three surprises that I didn't put in the trailer itself, but they'll be here. So I uh, can't wait to share those with you. Now. So what are your thoughts on the new Ninja Turtles? You know, um, sound off, comment me, message me, whatever. Let me know. And, you know, if you want, come on the show and we'll talk about it. So what else can I say? Other than, I would love to have you on the show to talk about it with us. And, um, yeah, we got some great announcements coming up. And we got a great, um, over an hour and 40 minute follow-up interview with Mr. Wildman Beyond. So, it's, uh, Beyond Debut, because last time we got cut a little short. So, you know, stay tuned for Beyond Debut with, uh, Wildman Beyond. On Rambo Mania, only on Studio Red Band, only on YouTube. So we'll see you. We'll see you next next time in just a bit. So stick around. Ciao.